I have here some Rainbird 6 outlet emitters. They allow you to split off six ways from a half inch nipple riser, shrub stick, or pop up retrofit kit. Adrian Sanchez here for Sprinkler Warehouse. Let's get started. So when you install these things, I throw some PTFE tape on there first. Now these don't have any rubber gasket here in the threaded portion, so some PTFE tape will help prevent a leak. Look at all these pretty colors. When using Rainbird Drip products, they tend to use the colors as follows. Black, one gallon per hour. Blue, one half gallon per hour. Red, two gallons per hour. And gray, unrestricted flow. For example, on the blue emitter here, each and every one of these barbs will deliver approximately one half gallon per hour. That is once you snip off the little tops. As you can see, the emitter arrives with one of the barbs already open. You can use a set of side nippers to open however many barbs you'd like to use. Wiggle on some polytubing quite simply, like this. Now, I know some people have trouble getting the tubing on. It's okay, you're not a sprinkler guy like me. If you have some trouble, like I just pretended to, you can soak the end of your tubing in some warm soapy water to make its installation a little bit easier. Now, you can run your micro tubing to the plan of your choosing. At the end, you'll want to put a stake to keep the micro tubing pointed at its intended target. I recommend putting one of these little diffuser bug caps at the end of your tubing to keep little pests and dirt out of the tubes. It also helps to prevent erosion at your plant roots. Bug caps do not restrict flow like a regular emitter. You can also purchase these stakes that have a bug cap included. Pull off the bug cap, insert it, put the tubing in the crevice here, and use this little thing on the side to lock the top. And of course you've noticed one of these things is not like the other. The gray one, as I mentioned before, is unrestricted flow. Take these little black caps off, the barbs you wish to use, they come off easily with just your bare hands. Pliers. Uh. Now, since this emitter does not restrict flow, you will need to add some emitters on the end of the microtubing to properly restrict the flow. Something like one of the Ziri bug emitters, PC emitters, or uh, flag emitters. Any brand with a barb that'll fit into the end of microtubing will do. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs, so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they will get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Adrian Sanchez, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Later, irrigator.